Do you want to know what my favourite type of boat is? An elegant and fast motorboat, like the Riva Iseo, for example. 27 feet of sheer magnificence. And if it was bigger, much bigger. The Riva 63 Virtus is a masterpiece of style, and one of a kind. What I mean is that there are loads of other opens this big, but which one has this class? OK, you're right that I'm a little prejudiced by the name and the 170-year history. It has the same layout as a 7-metre motorboat, but it's nearly 20 metres long, takes up the same space as six motorboats, and if you take the height into consideration, the same volume as 12 motorboats. The bridge at the bow never ends, like the more sporty boats, but it is the opposite of the fast commuter in that it is beautifully refined and easily and livable in and safe, thanks to the flat walkways and the high rails. You can throw a party on the bridge, hosting how many people? Oh, up to 12 on deck, but others can join you, of course, on their tenders. This is the perfect place to sail because it's well covered by the windscreen and sides, and if you're looking for shade, just push a button. The Reaver class also stands out for its details. Studs and winches are hidden under sheaves, which make for smooth lines of the boat. The signal on the mast has a fundamental function to support the antenna, but it looks also very sporty, like it could be a wing. Shall we take her for a spin? OK, but first, let's look around. ...they create the design plans for the River Series. A team of engineers and architects from Ferretti Group have put together this model, giving it sloping lines but managing to keep the internal spaces large. All Reavers have this enchanting minimalist style, and the refined finishings are a distinctive sign of the boatyard. The layout has an eating area for six and a biggish kitchen, a hob, microwave, fridge freezer and dishwasher. The owner's cabin is at the stern. Wood, leather, stitching. You can put your own design together. There's even room for a dressing table. The guest's cabin has bunk beds, and the VIP at the bow is obviously impeccable and has its own bathroom, of course. So will it just be the sportiness, or are we going to be impressed with its performance too? It's 19.5 metres in length, but less than five wide, so it's rather slender. But it's enormous, weighs 27.7 tonnes when it's empty, 32 when it's full. So it's a big yacht, even if it looks like a motorboat. There are two man 1,360 horsepower, 12-cylinder engines, which is the only possible solution to make this thing move. Category design is obvious and high as possible, so it can navigate in difficult seas. But I think I prefer to try it out on a day like today. We're coming out of La Spezia very slowly until we get to the dam. We can only go 10 knots an hour. Being at the helm of the Reaver 63 Virtus, I get those feelings that an owner wouldn't easily hand the controls over to the captain. It's just too nice being here with the tiller in your hand. I've completely the flap and then I've given gas. 
I've completely lowered the flaps and put my foot down and the bow hasn't moved, stayed low to the horizon which lets me really control what I'm doing and where I'm going. Just what I needed in this first stage of sailing. At 1,380 revs a minute, we are already going 20 knots, and it's good to know that the bow isn't heavy on the water, not ploughing through the water, but slicing smoothly does it. It's a yacht to be admired, but definitely to be driven. The V-drive is at the stern. The angle of the V of the hull is 17 degrees, good for choppy seas. The onboard computer shows the flat positions and suggests how I should regulate them. Who does it think I am? Oh, I admit, it is interesting. It's right, it works. I didn't accelerate and I'm over 25, 26 knots. It's really useful, allows us to go faster but consume less. To go 32 knots, I need to get it up to 1,800 revs a minute. No resting for sure. Let's push it a little bit more. I diesel della Man girano a 2300 giri minuto al massimo. The Man diesels get 2300 revs at max, so cruising speed can definitely be smooth. 2000 without the worry of raising the temperature. And at 2000, we are at a nice speed. 35 knots. Doesn't seem like we're going that fast. Non dava questa sensazione di velocità. Forse perché sono così ben arrivati. But even like this, I'm well protected from the wind. And it's incredibly stable. Propulsion is in line with the axis, but they've put tunnels in the actual hull, so the axis doesn't slope too much, so it doesn't lose any potential power. The engines are very quiet. Riva have studied their silences, and they work, but you can't hear them. We're at 2,340 revs a minute. Speed, 40 and a half knots. A questa andatura, per completare una tratta di circa 250 miglia, going this speed, we'll have gone 250 miles in about six hours. In six hours, we could have gone from Sicily to Greece. Brilliant. L'ho paragonato più. I keep saying it's like a motorboat, but do we think it's as agile? I really think I need to find out. It responds brilliantly. I need to keep looking around, checking where the bow and stern are. To keep reminding myself that this is a 20 meter long boat, well, almost, because look how it moves. So you get all the pleasure, the sumptuousness, and the elegance of an immense boat, but also one that's speedy and reacts quickly. And the faster it goes, the quicker it responds. The Riva 63 Virtus is a masterpiece, both in terms of the boatyard and Italian style. And if you happen to be millionaires and you don't buy it, well, it means you've given up on life.